This video is going to cover creating a value scale and a gradation scale. In the value scale on top, the first box is going to be the white of the paper, while the last box is going to be as dark as your pencil will go. The gradation scale is going to follow suit. I like to begin with the darkest value first. I'm using my pencil in full pressure. It's helpful to keep your pencil movements very close together. Our goal is for each box within the value scale to look different from the one next to it. My pencil is nice and sharp, and I'm going to do my next lightest value. Remember the first box in the value scale is going to be the white of the paper. Now I'm going to push my pencil down just a little bit more so that I create my next darkest value, but I still want it to be relatively light. And then the next box is going to be just a shade darker, so I'm pushing my pencil down just a little bit more. Now I'm going to start working my way from the other end of the value scale, the darker end of the value scale, toward the middle. I like to do that because it helps me make sure that each box looks different from the one next to it. So as I start to do my next box and I've left the middle one blank, I'm starting to see that I'm going to need to alter my values a little bit. As I look at the value boxes on either side of the one that I haven't colored in yet, I notice that they're a little too similar. So that just means that I'm going to have to make some alterations. I'm going to have to make the values on the right a few shades darker and the values on the left a few shades lighter. Before I start to make those alterations, I like to go over my individual value boxes with a blending stump to even out all of my pencil strokes. I like to use a kneaded eraser to lift out some of the value where it got a little bit too dark and lighten up my value boxes on the left. But you can do this with any eraser. It doesn't have to be a kneaded eraser. It can just be a pink eraser like you might have at home. Now I'm going to alter the right side of the value scale and just make that box a little bit darker. I use my kneaded eraser to clean it up and then there you have a nice value scale. Next, I'm going to work on the gradation scale. I'm going to start with the darkest value and get gradually lighter. The purpose of the gradation scale is to practice getting gradually lighter and moving your pencil strokes very close together. The gradation scale should show a very gentle fade. It should not look like separate boxes with individual values. It should look like a very seamless transition from dark to light or from light to dark, depending how you're looking at it. Just like the value scale, when making the gradation scale, some alterations will need to be made. For instance, you might need to make some of the value darker or lighter. I like to use a blending stump to make the pencil strokes less noticeable. When getting to the really light areas, I prefer to use one of my fingers to blend it even more. I always clean up my work with a kneaded eraser, make any further changes or alterations to the value to make sure that it looks nice and gradual. And there you have it. That's your gradation scale.